Take a look at him. Looks to be pretty quick-handed. He's been pretty crafty and has been able to stay out of the range of what would be an excellent Pereira punch here. The uppercut for the tall guy. Marco Antonio beginning to unload now and lands that left hook to end the exchange. Well, after looking at the experience, you know there was a good fight. The biggest difference will probably be just weight. Pereira scoring with the right hand that time in that furious assault. Come on, Briggs, let's go. Come on. Just looks too strong for Torres, who, as we see the fight unfolding, has shown that he is a talented and skilled boxer. And also does have the knockout power that Barrera would have, at least oh, not in this hands, category. Please. He needs all the angles here, and he needs to make Barrera get impatient. And that doesn't happen too often. You would think that uh, in order for Torres to win, he would have to really box and outbox Barrera. And that would be very difficult to run away with from him for 10 rounds. Especially when you're in the corner like this, Barrera. Pretty much trapping Torres here. Good right hand by Barrera that nearly knocked Torres down. Flew into the ropes. And Torres now just trying to survive. But here comes Barrera. Look at this furious assault by Marco Antonio. Pedro Javier Torres not answering back at all. Barrera just opening up left hook. Nearly sends him through the ropes. Tower comes in from the corner. That will not end it. But Dracula which is the only one who can stop the fight. And let's see if he has, in fact, stopped the fight. No, they're just going to nope. clean the, uh, the gloves there and go at it. One of the things that in all of the Latin American countries, when you throw the towel, you're giving up. That's right, and that used to be the way here in the United States, but the ref didn't agree with that. He what? said, carry on. The bell sounds to end the round, and now I would assume the corner will stop the fight. And you know what? Torres never saw the towel. Come on, Tom. Forever, they kept going. Come on, Tom. Hey, very correctly threw the towel out of the ring. They're asking, how do you feel? He says, okay. They ask him, do you want to go another round? He says, yes, we'll go another round. Do you want him to continue? Now they're asking them in the corner, apparently he, he doesn't understand English. There's the shots by Barrera, the big right hand behind the jab, and really putting the pressure on. This is when the corner starts to get that towel ready, as he fires from everything. And here it's lethal with Barrera here, firing everything, the big hook, the right hand, and Barrera doesn't let guys get off the hook when he does that. But with the head movement by Torres, he was able to survive, then gets it clean, Towel comes in. You'll see the towel back out. And Barrera will fight in round three. All right, here we go then into round number three. Barrera will look to end it here in this round. And I'm sure Vic Draculich, knowing that the corner tried to stop the fight in the last round, will be watching at it very closely himself. You have to really admire Pedro Javier Torres because he took quite a bit of punches. He also was able to like, escape quite a bit more. But he decided he wants to go on. He's just a fighter. Pedro Javier Torres, you see on the back of his trunks, it says Alacran. You might Miss. remember Alacran Torres from the the Los Alacran Angeles, who, who came through, I guess, what was that, about 20, 30 years ago, uh, Fernando? I was too young. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I walked right into that one. In the meantime, yeah. Torres is able to tie Barrera up and try to buy a little bit of time here. He went the assault in round two, but... He needs something to keep Barrera off. I just don't think he has the power to enable to, to uh, keep Barrera off. He can't do it. He has not been able to do it so far. He landed some clean shots early in the fight, but basically the strength of Marco Antonio is just too much. You know, another thing he does is as soon as he hurts you, he's already positioned himself, positioned his body so that he can come right back with another very damaging play. Not only is the power of Barrera devastating, but the speed as well. He can put things together and really just take one opportunity into a finishing sequence. Well, here it comes. This could be the finishing sequence. Here comes Barrera, right uppercut, left hand, beginning to open up once again, and Torres comes off the ropes and clinches with Marco Antonio to buy himself at least a few more seconds. And you know the referee will look at this pattern quite a bit because gallantry is nice, but to a limit. Marco Antonio Barrera in his 48th fight tonight. 48. He's still only 24 years old. That's one of the reasons that he stayed away 10 months from boxing. This is he wanted to heal his hand, but nothing. He also he was very, very tired of boxing. He'd been in it 17 years. He said they don't want to fight for a while. He was averaging seven and six fights a year for most of the years in this decade. 
Less than a minute to go now in uh, round three. As Barrera again gets Torres up against the ropes. Torres trying to throw his jab out there to try to keep Marco Antonio off. Brickling, Brickling, Brickling. A little welt under the right eye of Torres. Inside a half minute now to go. Torres trying to survive another round. And you know, Marco Antonio says that he came in in great shape. He's going to need it if he's going to keep on throwing that many punches around without knocking out the opponent. Herrera originally won the title from Daniel Jimenez in Anaheim. Successfully defended it eight times before losing to Junior Jones. Looking now to try to get out of this fight and on to a title bout. Read it. Read it. How do you feel it? Are you okay? Yes. Don't get desperate. Don't get desperate. Don't get the biggest danger Barrera has in this fight is getting butted, something that could affect him in the next fight if he gets there, and he got butted about the chin area near the nose. It wasn't over the eye, thankfully for him there. Come on, break clean, break clean. Watch your head. Come on. This is round four. It's scheduled for ten. And you know, after the headbutt, the one that was complaining was not Barrera. It was Torres. Torres now trying to go to uh, the body of Barrera. Break clean, break clean. It's a little technique, Fernando. <laughs> Throw the button and complain. <laughs> I don't know if he's if he is throwing it. I think it's just a matter of styles. You have two guys right. that go in and swing widely. And as you see, Dave uh, Bontempo hasn't scored a shutout so far through the first three rounds. Fernando agrees and has awarded one round at least by a 10-8 margin. What would that round? Round have been? two when he was was really was taking a beating, almost near being thrown out. Actually, the, you know, the, his corner did throw in the towel. It's amazing you get a you get a towel thrown in. May or may not be a 10-8. Well, I think it was. It wasn't an knockout. Without, without the towel, it was still with the 10 And now Barrera begins to open up again. That's it. Big Dracula steps between the two and stops the fight. Dracula passionate, worried about the safety of the fighter, knew he was getting hit with too many shots, and they called an end to the proceedings. An appropriate stoppage, too, in the sense that you've seen a pattern emerge in this fight, and Torres had not shown anything that could discourage. Barrera from coming in on him. So Barrera all over him. Now finally able to get the fight put away. Good hook right to the chin. Then squaring himself up, firing a hook again. The right hand will come in behind this left hand. And if Torres had a pattern of throwing some big shots, maybe you let him stay in the fight a little longer. But he doesn't have the offense. And when you get flush shots like that, referee doing the good thing here and stopping it. There's Barrera with the right hand. Watch him turn into the left hand. Good, sharp hook. Now opening up with the right hand. And there's Torres just in the corner taking it. And in this case, Rich, a little bit too brave for his own good. He was brave. You're absolutely right, Dave. And I think Vic Draculich realized it was uh, too brave for his own good and jumped in right at that point. He was watching him closely the last two rounds. And at the first sign of any real damage, he stepped between the two. We'll be right back to hear from Marco Antonio. Knockout, the official particulars now to be provided by Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, with the official time of 1 minute 15 seconds of round number 4, a referee in charge, Vic Draculich, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, the baby-faced assassin, Marco Antonio Barrera.
here's Marco Antonio, who is different than many of the uh, fighters of Mexican descent who have grown up in very poor surroundings. Marco Antonio came from a fairly well-to-do family. He could have been an attorney himself, but has chosen to continue to box, and now he goes on to perhaps moving on to another world championship. We'll hear from the babyface assassin when we return. Marco Antonio, rate this uh, particular performance. You said you were really happy with the first one, you were happier with the second one. How do you rate this one? No estabas muy contento con la primera salida, mejor la segunda. ¿Cómo calificarías esta? Bueno, sí es un peleador con demasiada movilidad. Yo venía a hacer, había hecho trabajo para peleadores más altos, pero me salió muy corredor el peleador. He said that he had been working for a fighter that uh, would be a little bit taller. This guy was uh, pretty much of a runner. He was a fast fighter, and uh, that, that was practically what he saw in this opponent. Were you at any point concerned that you would run out of gas throwing all those punches? No te, no te preocupaba quizá que te, te, te acabara la condición con tantos golpes que estabas tirando? Pues no tanto la, que nos acabara la condición, sino que me fue a dar un cabezazo porque era un peleador que metía mucho la cabeza. He says that it was not, it was not so much that uh, he was afraid of uh, getting out of uh, conditioning, it was just getting butt, uh, getting a butt, well, that was what is his concern. We're going to see uh, action for the second round and tell us what is happening. Vamos a ver acción del segundo round, dinos qué es lo que está pasando en el monitor. Bueno, creíamos que ya lo teníamos, nos fuimos sobre de él. I thought we had him, uh, I, went over, I went to uh, get him. Vimos que aventaron la toalla y pensamos que ya se había acabado la pelea. We saw that uh, they threw the towel and I thought the fight was over. Y ya, se, o sea, siguió la pelea y él siguió con su misma movilidad, por eso fue que bajamos un poco el trabajo. He says that uh, the, he, uh, the, the fight continued, he kept on working, that's why he uh, slowed down a bit after that fight. Do you think, after a barrage like this, that the referee should have stopped the fight? ¿Crees tú que debiera haber parado la pelea? Pues yo creo que sí, no, estamos viendo y son más de 20 golpes los que recibió el argentino, cosa que... Muy difícil que, bueno, de hecho no lo había yo visto. He says that yes, uh, he says that uh, the Argentinian fighter had taken over 20 punches with no response, something that he hadn't seen, and that that fight should have been over uh, by then. But did he give you enough work? Now let's look at the end of the fight and tell us what happened. Final de la pelea. Bueno, ya lo teníamos a la distancia, nada más era tirar un poco más de golpes, ¿no? Sabemos I, que ya se le acabó el aire. I had about at my distance, it was just a matter of throwing more punches. I knew that he was also running out of air, so he, that was that. Do you think that at this point that a, a fight like this helped you? ¿Crees que te ayudó una pelea como estas? Pues yo creo que sí, no me ayudó más de que como si hubiera acabado en el primer round por su movilidad y por la forma en que me hizo tirar golpes. Yes, uh, uh, he believes that it did help him because it was uh, because of the, his mobility and also that he was uh, able to throw more punches. What do you have to look forward now to your fight again to the championship fight? ¿Qué es lo que tienes que uh, ver ahora para la pelea de campeonato? Bueno, aquí vimos muchas fallas, no, pero era un peleador muy bajo. Y vamos a seguir trabajando, pero con peleadores más altos creo que se me dificultan, me dificultan un poco menos. So that here we, we were able to see some of his flaws, so he's going to be working with taller fighters and try to improve on that. Well, the, are you happy overall with this performance? ¿Estás contento con lo que pasó hoy? Pues no tanto, yo quería darle a la gente de aquí de Leitajo un knockout más explosivo. Oh, no, he says that he wanted to give more of a show, but although, you know, he was just totally satisfied, but he'll take this win. Pero toma la toma, ¿no? Pues sí, de hecho, una pelea. Okay, it was a good fight. Back to you, Rich. All right, thanks, Fernando, and congratulations.